basic rock beat. All right, so basic rock beat. Well, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. It's a basic rock beat. So I'm a firm believer that the drums are the backbone of the band. You keep everything together. And you and the bass player are always the same. Well, maybe with a little bit of flavor, but you know. So yeah, basic rock beat, that's gonna be something you're gonna spend a lot of time playing, especially if you're gonna do rock music. Uh, but it's, it's a good thing to just keep the tempo, but also sound good. So it's on a typical, you know, 4-4. Four, four. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now obviously I'm not playing, but right hand, you're gonna be hitting the hi-hat. Now, you can do a basic rock beat with the hi-hat hi closed, or you can do it with it open. I'm personally a fan of having it open because I like to be loud. It's just part of who I am. And then I've got my right foot on my kick, or my, I guess you could say, yeah, kick. Let's just call it what I call it, kick. Then, your left hand, gonna be on the snare. So this is, this is the, the, the posture you wanna be comfortable with. Some people that are left-handed, you might see them playing maybe a little bit less of the standard way. I, we call it open-handed, so you're gonna be using your left hand on your hi-hat, and your right hand on your snare which is how I learned how to play, is open-handed because I'm left-handed. But this is really a pretty comfortable way to do it. I know a lot of people feel natural this way. So basically, uh, counting to four. It's all you have to do, count to four. Uh, I'm sure, I think we all can do that. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That should just be replaying in your head until one day you just don't even have to think about it. You just do it. So, where we're gonna be hitting each drum on each number. That's kind of the whole thing. I mean, it's the pattern. So, on one, you're gonna be hitting your kick and your hi-hat. So I'll do it closed so you guys can, it's not too loud. So we're gonna go. And then on two, you're gonna be adding in the snare and a hi-hat, no kick. Three. So, what that sounds like. A little slower. Now that little extra note I'm adding in there is really extra. Uh, so honestly, a basic rock beat you could even just do. But I like that a little extra. And so how you could count that is one and two. Hey Amanda, yeah. let's talk about moving the kick to different counts of a 4-4 beat. Okay. So basically, you know, like on standard rock beats, typically the kick is on the one and the three yeah. and the snare is on the two and the four, right? right? So like, but sometimes we can get funky with it, right? Yeah. We can move the kick on one and two, yeah. right? Yeah. And then still put the snare on two or three or whatever we want to do. Yeah. And then sometimes we can put the kick on one and four and then completely change up the entire funk of the, of the groove, but it's still a solid 4-4 sound. That is true. That is so true. do you want to go ahead and kind of yes. divulge into that? I would love to show that. Yeah. So a really easy way to mix it up but stay doing basically the, the same thing you've been doing is move it around. So instead of doing the typical you could move the second kick hit over one. Okay, so it goes to two. So then you're going one, two, three, four, three, four. So 
that kind of gives it a whole different sound. Now you could do that with literally each one of the drums. I mean, you could even move it over to the floor tom and maybe that would be a good way to play, uh, let's say a verse to kind of quiet down a little bit so everybody can hear your singer. So you could go. On that one, I'm only hitting the kick once. So I'm going. That. There's a lot of ways to mix it up, put things on different parts, and make it sound like you. But yeah. Basic Rock Beat. Basic Rock Beat. By Amanda. <laughs> By me. <laughs> <laughs>